as you can see, I'm here in front of the London School of Theology. I'm going to try and speak to some theologians or theologians in training regarding the name Jesus and its satanic origin from Baal and Jesus. You heard me right. The name Jesus has satanic origin as it's a direct translation from Isus and Jesus, when in fact the Messiah's name is Yeshua, and his name Yeshua means Yahweh is salvation. We were warned in the scriptures that Satan would try and deceive the world and not to be deceived by others who come in the name. The name Lord Jesus originates from the Hebrew word Baal, which is Lord, but is also the name of Beelzebub. Excuse me, guys, would you guys be interested in having a quick chat? Are you guys students here? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Oh, this is for my YouTube thingy, obviously, you know, and I'm, I want to talk to you guys about Jesus, okay. right? Because that's what you guys are learning about, correct? Yeah. Well, the Bible teaches that there's no other name under heaven given to men that saves us in Acts 4.12, correct? Um, maybe, maybe not. You don't know yet? Know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, how about this? Do you guys know that the name Jesus is an uh, English translation? It's a... English translation of a Latin translation. Do you know the, the Latin? Name. Yeah, do you know the Latin? Is it Jesus? No, it's Jesus. Jesus. And in so. Greek, Isus. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you know, the Bible also teaches that uh, Satan, the devil, would deceive the whole world. And you know, the okay. Messiah, he taught not to be deceived by others coming in his name. Okay. Correct, right? Well, the name Jesus is English. Okay. And uh, the letter J, do you know anything about the letter J um, deal that everybody, sorry, that everyone's talking about right now, that the letter J uh, is only 500 years old and is, uh, is like, again, English. It had, didn't exist prior to that. So obviously we know his name, Isus, Jesus. But what about Yeshua? Do you guys know the name Yeshua? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's his real name, his yeah. original Hebrew name. Do you know what Yeshua means? It means Yahweh. Strong. Yahweh is salvation. Yahshua. Yah saves. I thought. Do you know Yahweh? Was it from Joshua? Well, Joshua would be an English translation of Yahshua. Okay. See, if the name Jesus was translated correctly, yeah. Yahshua would translate to Joshua, not Jesus, Jesus, okay, yeah. and Jesus, right? Yeah. So, now we also know that we're not supposed to have graven images and idols, correct? So how do you guys feel about the, the image of Jesus that's portrayed to everybody uh, worldwide? Oh, well... Is that a graven image? Is that false? Is it true? Uh, coming from like a more Protestant background, I'm not completely yeah. comfortable with it. Oh, do you guys, I, I I'm not of, sure, do Protestants, you guys don't have the idols and the images, you guys do the cross idol worship as well, or do uh, you guys just stick to the graven images or none of that? Not really, no. Well, that's good, really. see you guys are doing good. <laughs> but see, the problem is, is what I found out is, and I, 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 I ask you guys here, you guys could have some of these if you like, it's actually just basic facts and some scriptures regarding uh, what uh, the definition of an antichrist is, because you know okay. we're supposed to look out for the antichrist. Well, an antichrist is a person, office, or group recognized as fulfilling the biblical prophecies that will substitute the Messiah in place for another. And Yeshua was the Messiah's name, um, but they told the whole world that his name was Jesus. When in fact, no one by the name of Jesus was crucified unless you think the crucifixion happened in modern day England. Okay. Get my drift? Okay. So. What Here is, in your school, do, do they teach you about the name of Yahweh and Yeshua? Um, honestly, I mean, be honest. We're first year students. Yeah, we're first we haven't gone into that. Have you yet. ever heard those names before? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they, I mean, I don't want to put you guys on the spot, but I already no, have. Yeah. But I want you guys to know as well, because yeah. as believers, which you guys are, right? Yeah. That's why you want to do this, right? I'm a yeah. believer myself. I yeah. actually study the whole word. I don't go to school for it. But I do know that his name wasn't Jesus. And I do okay. know that the word Lord is yeah. a translation from the Hebrew word Baal. And Baal is actually Beelzebub. When you walked up on me, that's what I was just speaking about. Oh, wow. So the well, actual origin of the name Lord Jesus is a translation from Baal and Jesus, which are the names of satanic, human-hating, and torturing gods. 
the Lord God is actually called Baal in the Hebrew scriptures. Yeah, no, in the in the scriptures, Yahweh, he said not to call him Baal. He also said that my people have forgotten my name for Baal. And the, the Israelites, they wandered the desert lost, and they, they were doing sacrifices to Baal, and it was wrong, okay. and it was bad. Yeah. So I know, again, I know there's a, another god called Baal. Yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah, Baal. There's a few gods called Baal. Yeah. Just like there's 2,000 gods. Yeah. And in, in fact, another thing, when you guys use the word God, you know, the word Allah also yeah. means God. And God is actually the name of a pagan deity. Isn't one of the biblical characters that's a follower of God has Baal in his name? Yeah, Baal Gad. There's, yeah, yeah Baal Gad is like Lord Gad. And yeah. Gad is uh, pronounced God, G A W E, so more like, or less. What's the mission of this changing the name? Oh, what do you think it is? Remember, the, there was a war in heaven, and uh, Yahweh and his angels kicked out the rebel angels. They were cast down where to earth okay. and the whole biblical story is a warning for us not to be deceived right by okay. the god of this world now who is the god of this world right you guys know that Satan. but guess what who else is the god of this world in every single church the lord and guess who that is that's Baal. Okay. Baal jesus also known as lord jesus okay. now don't believe me because remember satan is the father of lies so what I want you to do is test my message for truth. Yeah. I want you to then go get a refund from these people because they're teaching you to deceive others. And this is the truth. Now, remember the parable uh, when uh, Yahshua, yeah. he met two in the field, right? And one was staying, one was taken, right? Okay. Well, it could be one of these situations today where one listens and one doesn't. Or we might get real lucky. You guys both listen. You guys both look into it and you realize that what you guys you guys pay to come to this school correct yeah yeah so yeah i would be pretty disappointed if i was paying to teach people the truth and i was being brainwashed and okay. given a lie okay so i don't so know do you guys do have you, any yeah please ask some questions do you believe um in jesus the well, son of god well jesus is definitely not the son of god yahshua okay. is the son of yahweh okay. right the son comes in the father's name i come in my father's name Yahshua Yahweh yeah. the Messiah's name Yahshua actually means Yahweh is salvation so it's all and if about, you look in the name yeah. Jesus the name Jesus if you look up the etymology of the name I don't know if they've taught you this but it actually says and I put it on my literature there it yeah. means the, the the etymology of the name of Jesus means Yahweh is salvation okay you guys know the word hallelujah yeah, yeah. do you guys know what that means uh, praise the Lord you want to guess what it means again hallelujah Praise, praise Yahweh. That's right. It's okay. praise Yahweh. But everybody's praising Baal. Everybody's praising the Lord, which is taking Yahweh's name in vain, which is yeah. a violation of the commandments. And remember, the commandments say, Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy yeah. Elohim in vain. Yahweh will not hold him guiltless. Okay. He takes his name in vain. Who, who, who forgives sins? God. Yahweh. Right. Now, who did the Messiah preach? He preached the Old Testament, right? Of course. Right. Yeah. Who did the Messiah pray to? Well, he also preached a new command. Well, wait, yeah, that's true. But he also, who did he preach? He preached the Old Testament of Yahweh. Who did he pray to? He also preached the, who did he pray the to, Sermon though? on the Mount. Sure, that but who did he pray to? Who did he pray to? His father. Yahweh, right, as well. He called him father. Well, we're all sons of Yahweh. Yeah. So, yeah. like, where did this revelation come from? Well, my revelation that I'm bringing to you, yeah. if I told you, you wouldn't believe me, but mm. that's a whole other story. But I'll tell you anyway, because everybody knows it listens to what I have to say. Yeah. I was visited by a glowing UFO and taken over by a Holy Spirit. And ever since, I've been able to summon the biblical chariots with the name of Yahweh for others to see. Whoa. And I've been spreading this message of truth for 15 years. Mm. And not one person can disprove the message Yahweh has given to me. Okay. And I have over 100 eyewitnesses of UFOs, which are the biblical chariots, if you guys haven't gotten to that part of the Bible yet, okay. of Yahweh. Okay. You know, there's a war in heaven, Lucifer, and the fallen ones were cast down to earth, right? Now, okay. is there a lot of Luciferian stuff happening around the world today? Look uh, at all Hollywood, right? You yeah, can tell I'm from, sure. I have an American accent. I grew up in Hollywood, so it's all Luciferian, okay. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
a lot of the government, a lot of uh, the uh, United Nations people there, they've, they've actually said stuff about Lucifer. And, not even that, the Vatican have been singing praise to Lucifer in the, in the churches. You've seen videos of that as well. They've also named their telescope Lucifer. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of weirdness going on. Okay. So... I hope you guys, uh, well, thanks for talking. Thank you, you guys have much. any other thanks questions or you guys want to ask me something or you want to re rebuke me or say I'm crazy or anything? No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cool. Is, well, your, is your name Felix Constant? That's it right there. Okay. I put my name on everything. Your YouTube channel, is it? Well, I don't have, well, my YouTube's hard to find, but oh, you can okay. find me if you just search that around. Website. You'll search oh. my name, you'll find okay. me. And uh, listen, man, you want to do the right thing? You want to be, you want to be righteous to the, the right creator, thing. Yahweh? Yeah. You got to use his name. And you can't be deceived by others who come in the name and research the origin of the name ah. and 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 then stand up the uh, the hebrews they yeah. didn't use the name yahweh oh yes they did they didn't speak it they yes were, they did they, they said it was it too reverence. holy that was their that was that's see that's the whole problem where everything went sour because they they said his name was not to be said they said it was too holy to be said so they changed it to elohim adonai hashem and they substituted it okay remember but remember the, 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 the the Hebrews, not the Hebrews, but the Jews were also the ones who killed the Messiah. Okay. And they also changed his name. Uh, to, they called him Yeshua yeah. instead of yeah. Yahshua. Yeah. And yeah. that was to mock the Messiah. So uh, you do Yeshua, believe in the Messiah? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. I mean, I work closely with them. Okay. And there's not just one Messiah, there's a few. Well, aside from? From Yeshua. Okay. There's other Messiahs, who other else? other messengers. Okay, like Mahabharata. No, I wouldn't say so. I don't. I haven't really looked into their message, but I could say that. Uh, I could say this for a, for a fact. Yeah. Jews, Christians, Catholics, Muslims, Jehovah's Witnesses have all been deceived and are using false names in substitute of the name of Yahweh. Okay. And they're all fighting, saying the other one's right and the other one's wrong. And you know, Yeshua said, "A kingdom divided cannot stand." Right. Yeah. Christians say Catholics are deceived. This, Catholics say Christians are deceived, Baptists, mm. Protestants, everybody's, oh, you, you deceived, you deceived, you deceived, you deceived. No, guess what? They all say the other is deceived. They all worship Jesus, and Jesus was not Christ's name. In fact, no one named Jesus did anything written in the Bible. And this is a fact. Yeah. The name Jesus, as you know, is English. Okay. Sure. As a translation from Latin, okay. Jesus, yeah. Google who Jesus is. That's something to look into. And, um, and then you also have uh, Isus in okay. Greek. Isus, you know. Yeah. The Greeks who worship Zeus happened to call the Messiah Isus. Not saying that that's why they did it, but it's kind of strange to me. Especially yeah. when all the other Zeus names like Pegasus, it's like the horse of, of Zeus or whatever. So okay. look at all the Zeus endings and they're all, has something to do with Zeus. But his Messiah's name is Yeshua. Okay. His name means Yahweh is salvation. And he preached Yahweh, he prayed to Yahweh, and he called on Yahweh and was saved. How has this revelation transformed your life? Oh, well, I used to be a big Hollywood nightclub DJ and oh. promoter, and I stopped all that. Oh, and I just uh, started doing this full time. Oh, wow. And uh, shockingly enough, nobody can disprove the message. Oh. And I have lots of witnesses. Hey. And if you guys want the truth and you use the name Yahweh and you want yeah. to actually make contact, like I told you about these chariots, Google Prophet Yahweh. He's, he's my teacher. Okay. He's the first man in recorded history to summon the biblical chariots using the name Yahweh for the news media to film. You would expect this to be a huge news story, but it was covered up for a very long time. Okay. A lot of years people said UFOs are nonsense, but now the governments and the U.S. and everybody's coming out saying they do exist, but they okay. don't know what they are, if you okay. want to look that up. But they're the biblical chariots, and there's many, many scriptures. Ezekiel's wheels, okay. Exodus, Yahweh, I mean, came in the burning bush, and, and okay. also the pillar of cloud and pillar of fire. So it's all relative, and there's many famous religious artworks with these UFOs as well. If you go to the British Museum, you'll see thousand-year-old artworks with these same orbs that you could see on news footage from okay. two weeks ago or you can see with your own eyes if you just want to make contact with Yahweh you just have to talk to Yahweh because guess what this whole time these people have been deceiving you okay love you guys thank you very much I, know, I, I, I would love to I would love to debate your whoever's in charge here okay um, 
I don't know if you want to say, hey, we ran in some crazy kook outside and look what he's given out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and, and okay. uh, see what they say because okay. I would love to okay. speak to the boss. Yeah, sure. I want to yeah, yeah. talk to who's in charge. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, we'll pass that along. Yeah, thank you guys, sure. and thank yeah, you for yes. your time, and uh, may Yahweh bless you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.